So over this weekend, I decided to replace my air cooler with an all-in-one liquid cooler, and that was sort of a spur-of-the-moment decision. You see, I was at Fry's Electronics just walking down the cooling aisle, and they had H100 IV2s refurbished for less than $80. Now, if you know much about all-in-one coolers, you'll also know that all-in-one coolers are not cheap, and they typically offer usually a little bit better performance than the air coolers do. Now, I was replacing a Noctua DH15, so the actual gains are not that much. For me, it was more about the aesthetic gains of just not having a gigantic, ugly heat sink in the middle of my build, which now has tempered glass. Also, I don't have to look at the Noctua fans anymore, so that's always a good thing, right? But today, I don't want to look at the cooling performance of the H100 iV2. I want to look at Corsair Link which is Corsair's software solution for monitoring your temperatures and adjusting different things like LED colors on your various Corsair products that you happen to be using. Before I hop into the software side of this, I do want to point out exactly how the water block communicates with the operating system to change that LED color. So the way that's done is through this USB cable, which plugs into the top of the water block, and then this cable, which I have not cable managed because it's probably not gonna stay hooked in, but it connects down and terminates into a USB 2 header that is sort of plugged in straight back there. And that's just how the connection is handled. And it's not an overly complicated solution, but it is one that works just fine, and the cable is, as you can see, plenty long if I wanted to run it back around behind that motherboard tray, um, if I was actually going to leave it connected full time, which I might do once I actually build out my Ryzen build, but for now I'm going to just unplug it and take it back out. Okay, when you open the Corsair software, right off the bat you're greeted with the Corsair Link um, screen. And you have a lot of information displayed almost immediately. First and foremost, you have your motherboard and what type of motherboard you're running. In my case, an ASUS uh, Z97 Pro Gamer motherboard. Um, it tells me I'm running the Intel Core i7-4790K. It tells me my SSDs that I'm running. It tells me my hard drive that I'm running. It tells me the water cooler that I have as well as the graphics card that I have. Now, all this information is important because if you are monitoring hardware, then you want to be able to know exactly what all your temperatures are in one convenient location and you want everything there. You don't want a piece of software that gives you some information and not a lot of other information. So that's why to me it's a it's a big deal that they went ahead and included things that are not necessarily Corsair related. They included just system information in general on the opening screen. I do really like that. So in addition to this, you can also interact with a lot of these temperatures, and sometimes you can um, actually do more than just see the information displayed in graph format, but you can see the history of the temperatures, and this is important for things like stress testing, um, especially the temperatures of your processor, because if you are able to see um, the graph, you can sort of see how your temperatures are acting over time, and it, it's just a nice touch, it's a nice display to see, um, and again, just, just very pleasing to the eye in the design, so A plus in, in design for Corsair on Corsair Link, at least the version that I'm using, which I believe is Corsair Link 4. Now, under the Configure tab is another sort of cool touch of Corsair Link in that it has this picture of a chassis. Now, you can adjust this picture however you want with whatever case you may have by simply right-clicking on it and clicking Choose Case Image. Now, Corsair conveniently includes all of its cases, or at least a lot of its cases, um, in the pre-given pictures. So you can pick whatever case you have if you have a Corsair case, but they also give you the option of browsing files, but you can change the interior of the case, or at least the view of the interior, by simply right-clicking on it, and, and I have downloaded a S340 interior picture that I'm gonna go ahead and set as the backdrop, and it changes the case so that I have a view of my case and the interior of it. Next, and this is where it gets a little bit nifty, you can drag the temperatures to the picture wherever they happen to sit. So for example, if I wanna grab the water pump and plop it right there, 
that's where it goes. So that's where my water pump is located. So I can visually look at that picture now and see the, the water pump information. In addition, I can do things like pull my GPU, put it where it goes. Um, I could grab my motherboard fans and I believe it is Mobo Fan 3 that goes over here and Mobo Fan 1 that goes in the back right there. Okay, so you have a lot of ability to just sort of plot out the points and, and you can take as much time or as little time as you want on this. For example, you could drag all the core temperatures around the pump so you can just easily look at this picture and get all that information in one convenient location. But it's not something you have to do. You can just use it over here. But it is nice that they added this touch because you can set up your case and give yourself a better visual representation of where the heat is located in your case, which then can help you come up with a better plan to actually manage the heat. The Profiles button does exactly what you would expect it to. You can put it into balance, performance, quiet modes. You can also manage your own profiles and create new ones. So for example, I could create one called gaming. And by setting it in gaming, and then I can change any of the options and it will affect just that profile. So that makes sense. And the last real tab of use, at least to me, is the graphing tab. And that just pulls up a completely separate tab um, or graph rather that shows you graphs of a bunch of your important system information anywhere from your motherboard temperatures your fan rpms your your uh, cpu cores those temperatures and it gives you visual graphs for all those a lot in a way sort of like uh, msi afterburner does for overclocking your graphics card it's sort of the same idea there with corsair link in this case and of course back on your home screen if you do have a corsair uh, product that you happen to be using you can change things like the LED colors. This is where you would do that. For example, I can change the water block logo color of Corsair on the water block simply by clicking the LED. And then I can do something like change it to say a blue color, um, maybe. And I click okay and I click apply and it turn, turns it to a blue color on the actual Corsair water block. And, and you can, you know, you can sort of get creative with with the different colors that it changes it to. And the nice thing about this, of course, is that you can make your water block really fit in and beautifully accent your system however you need it to, as well as the ability to give yourself a warning color if the water block itself gets over a specific temperature. So right now it is at 36 degrees. So let's say if it's over 30, it turns red. And you'll notice that it does turn red because it is actually over 30 degrees Celsius right now. And that is the water block temperature. That is not the CPU temperature, which is a little bit of a bummer because it would be nice. It'd be a nice touch to me if you could change it to be the CPU temperature over a certain degree. But it's, it's still a nice touch. I just would have liked to have seen them uh, take that a step further. And maybe they will in future revisions of Corsair Link. And as always, guys, if you like this content, give me a like, subscribe, share, comment. All those things are super helpful down below. You can also follow me on Twitter and on Instagram at Hoosier Hardware. Um, in addition to that, I will leave links to the cooler that I have from Corsair in the description below in case you want to buy your own. I'll let YouTube queue up this card for your next video. And I'm Shane from Hoosier Hardware, and I will see you guys in the next video.